Hey man, it's the ISO God Sensei, the greatest nigga on 2K in existence. Look, man, we got some new 2K23 info, some new gameplay. Let's let's get right into it. Make sure you like the video or your, your first build will be corrupted. Make sure you subscribe if you are new and turn on them post notice, man. So Jumpman Germ tweeted this uh beautiful combination on uh twitter of the new trailer that we're gonna check out later and we're gonna break down man you know you know he got it you know it's bad quality when is twitter gonna upgrade their quality man like it's it's 2022 my boy you know got a little eh eh which 2k had better gameplay to y'all 2k 11 or 2k um 22 Yeah, this, this is cute. Tweeted out another comparison that that you uh can't see, that you can't really see the difference because the quality on Twitter is so ass. This is cool and all, but you know they they should have added like they should have did more Jordan moments, like make it like actually new instead of adding like four extra ones. I don't know, but I mean it was a lot of years ago. What two K eleven? Like bro, that's a that's a lot of two K. So a lot of people never probably got to play it, but you know I got it. Let's check out this goddamn trailer, man. See, look, uh, look stacks. At least this n getting paid from two K. A lot of the a lot of the n that be double twisting gawk in 2k for no reason it be just for a logo a logo that gives them nothing right makes them feel important but they really not you know at least this nigga getting paid and i i ain't never seen him even go at creators a lot of y'all need to get it together you feel me it, it's it's ridiculous this nigga on 2k's channel it's a clean little shirt. I fuck with the shirt. Nigga hanging from the moon. Niggas say they lost footage of the moon. Niggas ain't lose no footage of the no moon. Niggas ain't never been there. What if, what if Giannis really decided? Uh-oh, leak gameplay. Leak, 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 leak. Features gameplay from new gen NBA 2K23. Guys to play for another Ooh. team later. Only next gen gameplay his career what do we still got the privilege oh, oh, to watch oh, a prime oh, mvp oh, oh, derrick oh. rose hey prime rose or prime westbrook prime rose or prime lillard prime rose or prime curry where do y'all think rose would have went if he never got injured man shit looked the same <laughs> Further, what if Shaq and Kobe never split? What if MJ mm. didn't retire after his first? How many rings y'all think they get? This 2K22? Nah, nigga, this 2K11, nigga. <laughs> Three P. What if we got to see just one more Magic Johnson versus mm. Larry Bird? Larry Bird's overrated like shit. Facts or no? NBA Finals. What if this and what if that? But what if I told you all of these what if questions could be answered and more? So now they basically just have a bunch of Jordan challenges, bro. Bro, to be honest, the only way this would be like dope. I mean, because I'm not going to play this shit at all. But, you know, I'm not excited about it. I've seen some old heads and other niggas excited about it. If they made a incentive to play this, you know, like, you know how... Like, if they made an incentive to play, it's like, yo, you complete this, you do this, you get this many boosts or Gatorade or all these different clothes to the more popular modes. Then you get people to indulge in your game more and play these other modes. And niggas will look up tutorials on how to beat certain shit if it's hard. You know, you got to incentivize the people. They just add in game modes for no reason, bro. Like when they add the fucking WNBA shit, that nigga, that career mode was actually better than my career, nigga. I wish that my career was just like that and it progressed that fast. That shit would be amazing. 
Kuzi out your mind, nigga. Westbrook on top, nigga. If they just incentivize people to play these other modes, you could get them to fuck with shit over time for like the main modes too. But they they just making this shit. It's a tiny ass audience. I don't understand. Or they should have added this into my career. Imagine if you did your my career and you could go to different eras and shit. Like, that would be cool. A, a little bit. With, like, storylines and shit. I don't know. Introducing my NBA eras. My NBA era. Oh, they do have a modern era. Niggas was trying to laugh and shit. Wait, why the fuck isn't LeBron right here? Why they only have him right here? Nigga, you know it's gonna be over 200 gigs. Ever one of a kind mode, you can hop into a time machine, travel back in time and start your My NBA journey uh -huh. in the 80s, 90s, and early 2000s, uh -huh. as well as the traditional modern day era. Now let's okay. use that time machine right quick, you feel me? Let's travel back into a time, time before even I was born. We talking about the 80s, or what we like to call the Magic versus Bird era. Magic versus Bird era. Okay. The rivalry the between legends. Magic Showtime Lakers and Bird Celtics will be on full display. Along with the careers full of display. other players of NBA royalty. Such as Kareem. Look at this toxic nigga. He ruined 2K. This nigga right here ruined 2K. Zeke. George Gervin. Dr. J. And the list goes on and on for so many other iconic players and teams. You'll also see a change in gameplay as teams are taking less threes during this era, while in the paint scoring and playing through the big man is more of a focus. Now let's talk about those what ifs again. And one of the craziest ways you could rewrite the history of the NBA as we know it today. Maybe this is for like rebuild YouTubers too. Don't they like do stuff like this? Cause I, I've never like watched those channels, but they, they be getting crazy views. Would this like help that shit? He looked like academics with dreads. What? No, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. Day and Bro, this nigga do not look like academics with dread. Or if you're in the community creations, don't worry. That still stands strong this year with the ability to create custom players, draft classes, and total team rebounds. But for my M The Jordan era. The greatest era. The only era. The Jordan era. It would be impossible for one of the greatest eras in basketball history to not be displayed and headlined by his heirness himself. Michael Jordan. One of my favorite things about my NBA. Back to the basket illegal in 1999. Hand checking allowed. Ooh. That would be dope. They should have modes to where hand checking's allowed. Like uh, events and shit. Not modes, but events. That'd, that'd be crazy. Zone defense illegal. Hey, nigga, they, they should have some modes with this shit. Even harder. Oh, yeah, hard fouls. The they should have hard fouls in this shit. You should be able to press a button and be able to, like, do some crazy shit for some events. That would be hilarious. See, look look how amazing I am, bro. That's why all them 2K niggas need to be fired, bro. They not innovative. They don't have the spirit. Not so long ago, a time we like to call the Kobe era. Mmm, what a go. What, is there really a Kobe era though? Did he win the most rings? Or did the Spurs? Well, you can't say it. You can't say the Spurs. Who won more rings, Kobe or the Spurs? How many rings does Duncan have? Bro, this is, man. This is when basketball was lit, dog. These two eras, man, these Man, these two eras were better than the modern era. I don't care what nobody say. Five? I don't know. Kobe's a legend. Damn, they just... So they labeled it the Magic and Bird era, the Jordan era, the Kobe era, and the modern era. Not the LeBron era. Mmm. They violating. They violating. I think Duncan is the greatest fufu basketball player of all time. Who, who, who do y'all think is the greatest uh, Fufu uh, basketball player of all time? It is not the Warriors era. Stop the cap. Looking in the Spurs. But what might be the biggest what if of all time? 
the Kobe and Shaq Lakers. Trying to keep that team together won't be easy, but lucky for you, this era starts in the year 2002 with what might be the greatest draft of all time, the 2003 mm. NBA Draft. If you're a savvy Ooh. enough GM, you can figure out a way to pair Kobe with LeBron, Melo, D-Wade, Chris Bosh, or even Dark. Don't ever mention Bosh with fucking legends, man. Come on. Go if you're feeling risky. To complete Kobe's legacy and capture two more rings in LA and make him the true successor to Michael Jordan's throne. The authenticity of the improved My NBA Era's mode. Bosh over Melo? Yeah, you're a bot. Nigga, shut your fucking mouth. Melo's the greatest scorer of all time. You're over here defending a fucking Raptor with long arms. Dennis Rodman is the third greatest fufu player of all time, but the most fufu player of all time? Mmm. He could be the greatest defensive fufu player of all time. Moving into the other My NBA mode that you all enjoy. My WNBA now has an updated playoff bracket. We're now Who using cares? a more standard three rounds. Dude, stop doing shit for these bitches, bro. No one's gonna play it. Why do they do this shit? Single elimination. Just put the bitches in the fucking park. Then the bitches will fucking participate and the game will be more popping because all the foo-foo niggas, will, you know, in every game, people can use females, bro. In multiverse, fucking GTA, fucking uh, Call of Duty. Like, bro, just let people be fucking weird. It'll bring your number games. It'll bring your game numbers, bro. Like... Why the fuck are they getting a separate mode? No one's gonna play that shit, bro. No one gives a fuck. I don't understand. Dumbass marketing team. As well as adding... Uh-oh, leak gameplay. Nigga look like a gremlin type shit. Okay. Eastern and Western. Nigga look high in a bitch. This nigga look lost like he's a nice nigga. That nigga don't be looking nice. In conference finals MVP. Anywho, make sure y'all like the video, subscribe if you're new, check out my other 2K23 news. But hey, hey, here we go again. Yeah. Here, here we go again. People talking this for when this hit the fan. Everything I'm that made me. Now break it down. Yo, off the top of the dome, dome.